YouTube, Cine Steve back with another video. Let you know what I've been playing and picking up, what I've been up to. And uh, this is the Monday just after I play Blackpool and the UK back meet at RK Club Leeds, which is uh, an absolute fantastic place. I recommend anyone up that way to uh, pop into Leeds and check that place out. It's absolutely fantastic. A lot more modern than Berry. But it's got a great collection of cabs. Just a fantastic day with uh, some of the vacas. A massive thanks goes out to Retro Dave that sorted out the hotel. Had a really good crack. Um, but it was Friday I went up to Blackpool. See quite a few of the tubers. And yeah, a brilliant laugh. Absolutely brilliant laugh with, uh, with the lot of you. Um, and then ended up going into uh, play Blackpool on the Saturday, which wasn't the plan. I was just going to go up for the Friday night for the meet and the piss up. But I had to go and see Pete on a retro tip in the morning and I didn't realise it started so early. Play Blackpool, so I popped my head in there. I was only supposed to be there an hour, hour or two, check out the traders. And ended up leaving there about three o'clock in the end. So really good, really good laugh. But what have I been playing? So uh, Bishy Bashy's out of the cab at the moment and Flying Shark's gone in there. I've rotated the monitor. Really enjoying Flying Shark. It's been a while since I've uh, played it properly. Rock hard game. Sorry about the flicker as well. I'm going to have to uh, change the settings on this when I uh, get the tripod out. But then on to the horizontal. Zookeeper seemed to be the game of the night on Saturday for the UK back meet. Um, I'm still unsure. I don't mind it. It's, it is a pretty good game. It is a, it, well, it is a really good game. I've just got to get better at it I think and then I'll uh, enjoy it a lot more but it was sort of this and Wizard of War that done it for me on uh, on Saturday I had a great crack with uh, Alex Nintendo Arcade playing uh, Wizard of War I absolutely love that game really it's, it, I don't know it just reminds me of something I don't know what really early 8 bit but really cool game and then anyone that saw my last video saw what I'd done to the panel just so I could play a bit of Mad Planets would love to pick up a dedicated cab. I nearly pulled the trigger on one. Somebody was selling one on an arcade group, but it didn't have the original boards, so I thought I'd take a step back from it. Panning around, still uh, really enjoying the Xbox 360 JTAG that I got off Pete. It's quite a new pickup as well, a new uh, blue PS4 pad, because my one's broke. Um, the D-pad's broke on it. I believe it's just a membrane, but I did take it apart and it's so fiddly. But I will order a new membrane. I believe it's quite cheap. But on the way up to Blackpool, I found this, this Amiga here. And I didn't want it, really. <laughs> but I wanted this joystick. Um, obviously, both the same joystick. This is my old one that I had as a kid that I used to take the top off if I can, still, with one hand. And look, look how minging that is. I used to chew the bottom of it. So I don't do it anymore, but I wanted to replace this, really. I wanted a, an upgrade, and it's such so hard to get. And I saw this bundle on Facebook Marketplace, and it was uh, in Birmingham. And I thought, well, I'm sort of going up that way. Tried buying it separately, but they didn't want to split it. So uh, I offered him uh, a price that they took and I'm really happy with it actually because it didn't the Amiga didn't cost me that much the bundle didn't cost me that much I've got some, a few games with it these three come in with it as well as some others which I won't keep but Nebulous 2 wasn't even in the picture if it was in the picture I might have even given the asking price for it because I believe that's sort of a 30 40 quid game on its own and it's one I'm sort of after um, but looking back at the picture you can actually just see a little bit of it buried but you'd never know what it was um, so yeah, really happy with that. Tetris I didn't own. I'm not really sure what this version's like, but I don't own it, so I'll keep it. But I was quite happy with this. Um, WrestleMania, that originally came with a video, which my copy doesn't have. This one did. So I can complete my copy, because that copy isn't in the best condition. And uh, yeah, quite happy with that. Also got the case for it as well. Yeah, really happy with that. And the Amiga itself, it's never been opened. Obviously it's quite yellowed as you can see, but 
I've, I've never heard a drive so good. The, the the disc drive is so smooth, silky smooth on it, which I'm surprised really, because as I say, the, the computer's never been opened, so nobody's actually taken that drive out. But it's absolutely fantastic, loading everything. So we'll probably uh, pimp that out and move it on. We're moving on to this one. Obviously playing a bit of Mad Planets. I was looking at the sort of ports and the inspired games from it. And I ended up buying this Apocalypse 2 on the Super Nintendo. It's a re-release of a game that was never released. Um, it would have been published by Psygnosis originally. And it's got music music by Rob Hubbard, a hero of mine. And it is, it is a pretty cool game, to be fair. It's um, quite limited with the controls. Um, obviously, with the original cab having a spinner and a joystick, it's quite fiddly you use sort of the left and right buttons to rotate the ship but nevertheless it's pretty cool I love the graphics on it you uh, I say this was like a re-release a few years ago and uh, full color manual yeah it's all good really happy with that and the reason hyper bishy bashy champ isn't in uh, one of the cabs I've ended up picking up a new Sega Astro City which, this is the original panel for it, uh, for Bishy Bashy, which I obviously had, but doesn't fit on a on an egret, take an egret. And I just really wanted to put the original panel into it, even though I, know, um, I made one and it, I, was, I was happy with it. I don't know, I just thought having Bishy Bashy in a, in a cab was wasting an egret. Um, marquee light's not working at the moment. I'm not sure if it's starter, lamp or ballast. Um, but the, the starters are screwing. I've never even seen a screwing starter before, but I'm going to look into that. It's probably just the lamp. The lamp actually looked quite new. It wasn't sort of burnt. But the picture on this is fantastic. I'm really happy with it. There is some, a little bit of burning, but it's sort of spread right out. There's no sort of insert coin burn or anything like that. It's just a bit, when it's off, you, you, you can see it. But as I say, fantastic picture. Really happy. Got a... Um, two stick 12 button panel with it and I do like these panels obviously the Saturn arcade sticks inspired really happy with it I say the picture is fantastic and obviously this uh, game got a lot of play over the weekend at arcade club I had to try and get a few high scores I got got the high score on the midi because obviously that's not saving high scores but the deluxe is and uh, I think I've got about 11th on it but I don't know Still, still loving the game. I wouldn't mind uh, getting uh, getting them on it a recap. Or a, that one's obviously the colours washed out a little bit. It's not too bad. It actually looks worse on the camera. Obviously not as vibrant as uh, as the Astro City. But panning round, um, I didn't just buy that cab. I've ended up getting a cocktail as well. This is from Davo on the uh, RK forum. I've known him quite a few years and uh, I, I wanted this years ago I remember seeing it up for sale and it sort of went before I could get it but it's a great little Tato cocktail cab obviously it's had a bit of work done to it got a repro panel gameplay's fantastic I've always liked Arkanoid should really uh, shouldn't have really filmed it in this uh, <laughs> In this 1080p because it's not really uh, obviously it doesn't flick like that in in front of me but i've also bought a uh, this panel off vertvik absolutely fantastic asteroids vectrex panel it works brilliantly obviously not with one hand but really happy with that to play asteroids and asteroids deluxe properly now on the vec fever and he done me that stand as well i can't even remember if i showed that on the last video but I'm so happy with that, but really loving the uh, the cocktail cab. Just gives me a little bit more desk space so I can uh, take things apart. And I mean, there is quite a few scratches on it. It's quite dusty as well, actually, but I might see if I can polish a lot of that stuff out. But anyway, let's, uh, I'll get the tripod set up, show you. I haven't got many pickups, to be fair. Um, well, I have, I've got a ton of Amiga pickups, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. I'll film that after this one and release that later in the week. Um, but I've got a few other little pickups to show you. 
Right, I haven't really got that much to show in uh, in this video really. Um, I just thought I'd make it just to show really the cabs. Um, I will do something a bit more in depth because I'm going to change the room around and uh, I'm probably going to put all the console stuff along here, put another shelf up and then have all the cabs lined up down here. But I'm probably going to have to lose the sofa doing it which um, that's why I'm sort of uh, hanging back on it really. So I don't really want to lose the sofa but obviously I haven't got that much room in here. Um, but touching back on uh, Nebulous 2, um, I, I didn't even see, I only saw this last night, so I picked the bundle up on Friday and I was testing it all last night, Sunday night, when I come back from uh, Arcade Club Leeds. And as I say, I, I didn't see it on there, but obviously first Nebulous was uh, brought out by Hewson and this one's uh, 21st Century Entertainment, which I didn't know was all part of Hewson. And I only found that out on Saturday when I was at Black, uh, Play Blackpool and um, there was a chat with, uh, with, with the owner of Houston and, and his son and Nova Bug and I, I, we, me and uh, Paul, Mr. Bads, went in and checked it out. And yeah, had absolutely no idea that they, uh, they published, obviously, Pinball Dreams and Fantasies with, uh, obviously, the 21st Century Entertainment label. But, but really happy with, uh, with getting Nebulous 2. Um, moving on, I'll stay with Amiga actually, I've got CD32, a couple of CD32 titles that um, I didn't have as part of the, uh, the Team 17 collection, both of them double packs, um, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you could buy these or whether they were given in with the consoles, but this one being uh, Alien Breed Special Edition and Quack, I've got the full release versions on floppy. And then same here as it goes, Ultimate Body Blows and Project X. And they say this one, not for resale. So that one obviously was given in a pack somewhere, but all in good condition. Um, I think there's only one more on left, which I believe is one of these games on it as well, as well as F17. Um, yeah, I will pick it up. I think that's the rarer one as well. But again, I don't think it's expensive, maybe like 20, 30 quid. Um, but I think that's sort of it with Team 17. Now, barring, I think there's a couple of games actually. There's Ferris Legacy on CD32, which I haven't got, and the very first release of Alien Breed, which I've got coming. So, yeah, once I've done that, I will start doing the Amiga collection videos as uh, obviously as I go through them. And uh, I'm probably not going to complete them all, but I will. I will go through what I've got. Um, go on to these. Um, these I picked up quite a few weeks ago from uh, Retro Dave. It was um, a meet at Davo's who I got the cocktail from. And Retro Dave had a few bits he was moving on that I thought I'd pick up. One being a uh, PC Engine controller, because even though I do have, uh, I believe my one's in blue, but a spare one always comes in handy. But obviously what you need to uh, to use two controllers is the multi-tab, which I never had. So uh, yeah, really happy to have those boxed. Haven't even tried them yet, but I will do, so I, I do love the PC Engine and to play a bit of multiplayer games. It'd be brilliant. And uh, obviously, with the multi tab, it saves you sort of unplugging controllers all the time. Uh, moving on to a bit of vinyl. So, uh, I haven't really bloody opened this one yet. It's uh, Sonic CD. This was the latest release from Data Discs, which came probably about a month ago now, six weeks. I will get around to opening all these and play them. Um, obviously, it's a limited edition one, which it's a shame they don't put limited edition somewhere or. I know I've got sealed, sealed ones over there, which I'm not even sure which, what, what they are, what releases I've got, but I will get around to opening them all. I'm not, I'm not a sealed collector, I never will be. Um, and I'll also get around to opening this as well. This I've had about a month as well. And it's the uh, limited edition Battle Gregor for the PS4. Um, this this looks fantastic. I, again, I haven't opened this yet, but I will do. But there's vinyl soundtracks in here and CD soundtracks and everything in here and he, um, it's also got the physical game as well because I know the one of the other editions didn't but I will get that out and give that a go at some point on limited runs so uh, anyone who has got that let me know what you think of it because I still haven't opened mine yet um, and then I've got some Mega Drive which everyone knows that I'm sort of trying to go for a full Mega Drive collection and this this bundle was uh, how much was it I think I got it for about 120 there was about, I'm sure there was about 36 games in there. I ended up selling, I think about 25, no, probably more than that actually. 
I've sold the best part of them. How many have I, how many have I kept? I've kept four. I've kept sort of six and a half because uh, one of them I just stole the manual out of. I'll start with that actually. And that was um, Atomic Runner, which this was my copy, but my manual wasn't amazing. But the one in the bundle was fantastic. It doesn't even look like it's ever been opened. Absolutely fantastic condition. Definitely not seen many thumbs that one. Um, but again, my one wasn't bad, but I just thought I would um, take obviously the better one and move the, move the other bundle off, which I ended up getting more for the bundle I sold off than what this lot cost me. So it, it's actually, this is all free stuff now. <laughs> really happy with this bundle. Um, and there's nothing, uh, I think there's one really decent, well, no, a couple of decent games in it, but one quite expensive game. Um, this one's not, which I couldn't believe I didn't have in my collection. It's Fantasia. Um, this one didn't have a manual, which I'll, it's such a cheap game. I'll, uh, I will get a manual for that. Um, I I've never actually played Fantasia. I mean, Atomic Runner I've played quite a bit. Fantastic game. Never played Fantasia. Um, then we've got Simpsons vs. Space, Space Mutants. This one feels a bit light again. Yeah, no manual in this one either. Because about half the bundle I bought, half of them had manuals and half of them didn't. Um, but to be honest, I do think I was actually quite lucky what did have manuals, if I'm honest, because I ended up getting them. Um, I know there was Ghostbusters in that in that pack, in that bundle, as well as a few others, a few other nice ones. Um, going on to Pinocchio, lovely blue spine. This one's got the manual, and again, the ones that did have the manuals, they were pretty nice. Um, just looks like a generic Disney platformer. Again, never played it, but I will. I will give them a go. I will get round to playing all of them. Um, obviously, Space Mutants. I played quite a lot on the Amiga. Now, this one I did give a good go because I've never, I've never owned this, and I've never really played it. And I do quite like it. And that's East Spot. Um, manuals a bit dogged in one corner. But I'd rather have that than not at all. No hang tab either. Um, I've got plenty of boxes I can swap them out with. But yeah, Eastwalk, really good, really good shooter platform. Really good little game that. Again, not expensive though. But this was the one I was really interested in. Um, everyone that knows me knows I love my arcades. And I'm always interested in sort of arcade ports. Now this one didn't get a power release. And it's Waldner. So really happy to add this in. I believe this is about a 40, 50 quid game on its own. Um, originally a tower plan game. And again, I've just tried it, didn't really play it for very long, but I will give it a good go because it's a really highly rated sort of action platformer. So I'll, I'll definitely give that a good go. And I mean, Tower Plan don't make bad games, do they? I don't think. So yeah, really happy to get that one. And I left the best for last. I didn't really because that was the best and it was Rolo to the Rescue, which I don't know how I missed that. I do actually own the full release of this, but this is the, uh, the classics box, which it's such a cheap game, I'll keep it. Um, no manual again, but as I say, awesome little bundle. Awesome little bundle to get. Um, and that was our Facebook Marketplace. Oh, and there was another game down here actually as well that was in that bundle which I was going to sell separately. And that was Sonic Sonic 3 because that was there was two of them in there. So with the manual, I mean anyone that wants to give a shout, because I'll just probably sell that separately. But that's it. Um, as I say, another big... Big shout out to everyone I saw over the weekend. Um, play Blackpool was it's such a good laugh on on the Friday. I'm not going to name names. I, I didn't take any footage. I know there was plenty of pictures and and cameras going around. Um, I heard uh, Pete on a retro tip. His his panel went well. Uh, looking forward to seeing the video of that. It's a fair play on that. It was a great achievement. Um, and it's really good to spend a lot of time with uh, with Mr. Bads and uh, um, Retro Dave and Alex on the meets as well. And yeah, fantastic. Obviously, there'll be hundreds of videos going around in it. Go, like, go and check them out. It was a really good event. And uh, I say I might even go to one next year. Um, I know that there's a play event down in Margate, end of February, which isn't far from me. So I'll definitely be going to that because it's only about 45 minutes away from me. But yeah, highly recommend the Blackpool meet and definitely recommend uh, Arcade Club Leeds if you're uh, around that area. But yeah, that's about it. I'm going to uh, set the tripod up again and film my Amiga pickups. I must have, there must be a good 40 to 50 games there because everyone knows I love my Amiga. And um, I'm always picking up games and there was just 
far too many games for this video and I just thought this would be a nice, hopefully quite quick video. So until next time YouTube, I'll see you soon.